Kuri fell the Eiffel Tower this morning with a beautiful, beautiful sack of macarons. This is Pierre Hermes macarons and he is my favorite. He makes the best macarons in all of Paris, I personally think. I wish we had one in Toronto, but look at this. Macarons with a view. Bonjour. You can see I'm slowly going through all of them. <laughs> This one is for Jules. It's the most chocolatey thing I've ever had. Oh my gosh, they're so delicious. I absolutely love the Alto one, the gingerbread. It's incredible. And you can see mm, how much he stuffs these. Mm. This is vanilla. Oh my gosh, it tastes like the most soft, delicious vanilla ever. Chocolate passion fruit. Wow. Mm. Wait, we have to try. Bonjour! Today's plan is Sacre Coeur and then also the Galleries Lafayette, the beautiful shopping mall with the gorgeous tree. Correct. And then eventually we'll end up at some sort of a restaurant. I think she knows which one. I have no clue what it is. Let's go! So we made it to Sacre Coeur and here is the view behind us. Our view. incredible. So this is the little area right near Sakura. It's so picturesque. Hi Bootsy. Hello. <laughs> We're going to find a coffee and some croissants. This is the Montmartre region. we just saw it's one of the best I heard how is it mm. you got little croissant crumbs on you it's really good yeah is it good well, I don't know much in croissants <laughs> but it's really delicious let's see let's see the layers are there layers inside flaky flaky chewy gummy chewy yeah delicious mm -hmm. that's a good croissant okay I'm mm -hmm. gonna, gonna try this oh yeah this is oh look how good this is yeah. buttery mmm mmm yeah that's a good one mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. You can taste the flaky outside. It's almost moist yeah. inside. Yeah, the chewy inside because it's chewy buttery with all these layers. Oh my gosh. A pain au chocolat. Mmm. I'll have Nikita rip this open so mm. we can see it. And then I got a chocolat réglisse, or I don't know how, how to pronounce it, but I'll probably insert it down below because it looks so good. Okay, the pain au chocolat. I want to taste. 
a bite of this chocolate inside. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I love this. Mmm. Mm. It's essentially a croissant with chocolate baked inside. A little bit, right? And it's shaped differently, yeah. And this is after Sacrico. We found this cute little area, a bench to sit on not too far from the shop. We just had to walk a little bit back up. Mmm. I could get used to this. Mm. We still have not yet um, sat on a cafe for breakfast, so we'll definitely do that tomorrow for sure, right? Definitely. She doesn't want to do it because she wants to walk around. Because I keep time. wanting to try these places that are popular, and you can't sit down, you can't grab a coffee, you just essentially get your things and leave. So I want to try this kind of stuff because it's so good. Mm. I saw this with some of their baked goods and I said I have to get this because it looks incredible. This chocolate reglis, I feel like. So similar, again, dough, but this looks a little bit more flaky. Let's break it apart together, boops. Mmm. I love how you bring. <laughs> so which one is your favorite out of the three we tried? The regular croissant. The regular croissant? Wow. Yeah, and for me, I would say the pan au chocolat. You know, this is really good too. Now I don't know what I like more because <laughs> there's even more chocolate and there's these like crunchy little bits of chocolate on the side. Mm, flaky and delicious. And now we're swarmed by pigeons. <laughs> All over the place. You look so cute, boops. They're literally everywhere collecting our crumbs. We actually fed them just a tiny bit. And now we're surrounded by pigeons. Bonjour. that you saw it was so busy I mean we were packed like sardines but it was actually a really cute atmosphere very nice what was your favorite thing the eggs the wolf mayonnaise or les wolf mayonnaise. mayonnaise it was so good it was only one euro 90 cents for that and it was delicious the foie gras was really good but a good foie gras I feel like you can get anywhere and we finally tried beef bourguignon very good too. it came on top of like, this little pasta stuff it was really yeah. tender the pasta is not al dente so if you want that it's not al dente but it was good it was kind of like soft because usually it comes with potatoes so it kind of reminded me of that whole vibe it was a warm dish so we tried all different things today and we loved it yeah. Very good. So and a we whole recommend half it. a bottle of wine for seven euros. No, six. I thought you said six eighty. Wow, six eighty. So yeah, seven euros. Yeah. Delicious. Huh. So now we are going to the Gallery Lafayette. Finally. finally, I'm so excited to see the Christmas finally. tree. Let's go. All right. and the famous Christmas trees behind us. Every year they decorate it differently. This is what this year looks like. Woo! With the space Santa Claus. How beautiful is this? I love it. We are on the third floor because the third floor has the view from above. So we'll even go around to see space Santa's face, but look how incredible this is. Oh my gosh. How impressive. It spans all the floors, wow. Hello. Can you see the Eiffel Tower? Oh no, there's all this Ooh. smog. 
It's somewhere there. But we are on the top of the Gallery Lafayette. I Lafayette. think this is the sixth floor. As you saw, the tree was incredible. How huge. Big. Incredible. Really big. They do a little show with, every with now and then. With a flying astronaut, yeah. Santa Claus. <laughs> Christmas astronaut Santa, space Santa. Space Santa. <laughs> And now we are here at the top where you can just come outside, have some fresh air, and see this beautiful view of all of Paris. It's like a 360 view pretty much. It's incredible. Oh. <laughs> and I'm so scared. Now you can see the Eiffel Tower behind me. Nikita has a little fear of heights. <laughs> He's like, don't go near the edge. Don't hold your hand out. Beautiful. today because it's a Monday. I feel like everything is closed on Mondays except the Louvre is actually closed on a Tuesday. But look how gorgeous this building is. This is just so beautiful. It's very close to the Gallery Lafayette where we just were. And Printemps. We just quickly went inside another mall. Printemps. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Pretty much around every corner, around every busy street is just some important monument that has to be seen and it's very lovely. We're uh, at a Cologne Vendôme. <laughs> Nikita's making fun of me and it really is called Cologne Vendôme. It is. I will show you. And this is, I guess, Place Vendôme. And this is where all of the bougie, expensive stores. Woo! There's the park, and kayaks, are. the Ritz, all the other really expensive hotels. But it's stunning here. Right? So beautiful, really, really yeah. lovely. It's like this big square with Christmas trees. Very, very festive. See? Ta da! <laughs> So right now we are in Place Vendôme. Very lovely. We're taking a quick little break to find our bearings. And now I think we're going to head over to the Notre Dame de Paris because we haven't seen that yet. We've seen pretty much a lot of our main attractions except for that. So it should be lovely. So I can't wait to visit that. Today is just a very nice day, very relaxing day. And our second last day, which is so sad. The group just took a giant selfie right here. Oh, in their mid 70s. <laughs> They're not in their mid 70s. Babe. Probably. 50s. They're... And this is right by the Louis Vuitton in Place Vendôme. I guess it's a popular place to take a photo. Now we are the old couple. Now we are them. <laughs> That's making sounds we in made front it. of the thing. <laughs> Place Dauphine. You can actually hear us speaking because it's so quiet here, but it's so nice. There's a few people playing bocce and there seems to be a few little cafes and restaurants as well as Airbnbs and things like that. Yeah, it looks like, uh, like a really residential little tiny corner in the middle of Paris. Yeah. It's the heart of Paris because it's on the island that has Notre Dame. Oh yes, that's true. So we're on a little island and this is our first time here because we are here to see the Notre Dame, as I said before, so let's go to see it. But it's so nice here, so quaint. Love it. We made it to the Notre Dame, and I believe because of the fires, it's still closed down for a repair. So we're seeing it from the outside. to explain how they're planning to repair the Notre Dame after the fire is burnt. Okay, can you see me? It's all in French though, so it's hard to understand, but the pictures should illustrate it carefully. <laughs> so they have to reconstruct this 
after the fire, wow. Built from 1163 to 1345. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. And closed under renovation after the 2019 fire. 2019 fire, yes. But it was, it literally took more than 100 years to build this. So, it's Almost 200. Hence the hardware. <laughs> A little olive top of that. How is it? Yummy? Cheers, love. Love you. <laughs> Christmas came early. Wow. <laughs> We're eating snails. <laughs> so Nikita's going to demonstrate how to do it. <laughs> or attempt to. You don't have to hold it with the slow thing. But because it's hot, <laughs> you slow. Oh, it you up. did it! That's it. Good job. Okay, let me see. Oh, yeah, that's smart. <laughs> Delicious. Mm -hmm. Very good. Steak frites, finally, the steak frites. He caved in and has fries. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna have any fries. It's for you. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, it's for you. And then I have the duck breast. It looks really delicious, actually. And this is palm de feet or something. It looks really good. I'm very excited. This potato inside is like a mashed potato. Oh my god, it's heaven. It's so delicious. I love it. Yes. Delicious! 